Good morning from Bali. This is Susan. Uh, it's a gorgeous day here, and it seems to be cooling off finally. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say. Today I want to do an update on Bali and the virus, what's happening here, uh, giving you some information and uh, my own experience from living in a village in rural Bali. Okay, so the first thing is I want to mention the groups that I have mentioned before, uh, which give you a lot of very, very specific information um, about updates in the numbers uh, of uh, viruses in all of Indonesia, as well as um, what's going on here in Bali in terms of things like food distribution, who's giving uh, what to whom, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to mention those. One is called Bali COVID-19 Update. And that has a lot of detailed information about the virus in all of Indonesia and information about flights and all of that kind of thing. And then the other one is called Bali C-19 Solidarity. And that has more information about local things in Bali, food distribution, uh, health issues, all of that kind of thing. So that's where you can get a lot more specific information than, than what I have. Okay. So, a lot has happened since my last uh, update, uh, which was about, mm, I think, about 10 days ago now. So, on April 23rd, the government, the Indonesian government, put a restriction on flights, on flights to all areas uh, affected by the virus. So, that includes Bali. And basically, that means no flights in and out of Bali. That there are exceptions, of course, and it's quite it's unclear what exactly the exceptions are, but there apparently are a few flights coming and going, and there are people still trying to leave Bali, so either to get to Jakarta, or uh, someone to get to Jakarta. Actually, I think there are very few flights from Bali into other uh, international destinations, uh, but. Especially the, I think the uh, COVID-19 update can give you the most accurate current information about this. You know, it changes constantly here, as I think it does in many other places these days. Uh, so that's the information about um, the restrictions. And a lot of these restrictions were put in place um, because it's Ramadan now. And in Ramadan, uh, people go back to their home villages. And so... Partly this was a, uh, an, uh, an attempt to curtail that for people not going back to their home villages because it's clear the transmission of the virus happens when people move from one place to another, from those who are infected go to new places where there hasn't been much infection. And um, so the government's trying to prevent this. Okay, <clears throat> so related to that is... What I mentioned before is we've gotten these this huge influx of what what the government calls migrant workers, and these are Balinese people who have gone to other countries or are on cruise ships uh, to work, and so many of them now are being sent home, and especially the ones from the ships, all the ones from the ships, as I understand it, are being uh, repatriated here to Bali, and. The number I had originally was 22,000, which seems huge to me. Uh, it may be accurate. I haven't been able to confirm either way about this. Um, but what we're seeing here is actually a, a major influx of uh, not foreigners, because these are Balinese people, but they haven't been in Bali and they've been infected other places, on the cruise ships especially and they're coming back to Bali. They're being tested, but they're using the rapid test, which, as I think most of us know, is reliable at only 60 to 70 percent. So it appears that we're getting a number of false negatives, negative responses that aren't accurate, and then people are later having the virus and then spreading it. <clears throat> And of course, they're spreading it because they don't think they have the virus, and then they're going out to other places and uh, not staying at home. 
So this has become a big issue and the numbers in Bali are going to jump uh, tremendously because this has just exploded here in the last week with uh, people testing positive for the virus. Mostly it seems from uh, these contacts with returning uh, cruise ship members. Okay, so the numbers right now, the latest numbers I have is that we have, I'm just going to check my numbers, 215 confirmed cases with no more, uh, no further deaths. We have four. Um, and um, so as I say, this is going to change a lot, you know, here in the next week or so. It's already changing, but we don't have the numbers or I don't have the numbers and I haven't seen the numbers yet. Okay, so that's the latest of the kind of general, uh, general stuff about Bali. Ubud, um, in going into downtown Ubud from the statue, for those of you who know Ubud, um, they now have a checkpoint for masks, and you're required to have a mask to go, get into Ubud. So this is a big change. Uh, in general, in Bali, people don't... Um, don't enforce the guidelines or the rules of what they've already set up. So it's very unusual to have a checkpoint, and this is a, a good sign. What in general is happening in, in Ubud anyway is people are requesting that you wear a mask, uh, but again, there's no enforcement of this. And um, so, you know, it's up to the individual what they, what they want to do. And um, this is different in, in telecom, uh, where people are required to wear a mask and they're very uh, careful about uh, physical distancing as well. And perhaps this is true in other government uh, facilities and agencies. I haven't, I haven't been to other ones myself. So some places in Ubud seem to be reopening. I haven't seen it. Uh, firsthand, but I have heard it from a reliable source that some of the shops are starting to reopen here in, in the Ubud area. As I've said before, uh, many places in the local areas near Bona where I live are already open. There are very few shops that are closed. Uh, they're mostly all open. Um, so that the local part hasn't changed, but Ubud seems to be opening up more. Um, Okay, let me just check my, my notes here to see what else I wanted to mention about that. Okay, nothing, I think. Okay, so Bona. So Bona is where I live and where many of you who watch this uh, are, are familiar with and interested in. So Bona, last week, one week ago, Bona said, no visitors are allowed to come to Bona unless they have a medical certificate. So this means Balinese, other foreigners, any, anybody at all. No one is allowed to come to Bona <clears throat> unless they have a certificate. However, we have seen no evidence whatsoever of enforcement of this. So people are coming. If, if people are very responsible, then they don't come. You know, they know not to come and, and people don't encourage them to come. However, uh, it it hasn't happened. Uh, you know, other, other people are coming to Bona. And this is kind of a, in my view, rather typical in Bali, is that there's very little enforcement of what the either guidelines or rules. This was actually a rule. Like you're not, no one is allowed to come, period. You know, and everyone is required to wear masks. So that happened a week ago. For three or four days, people wore masks. I mean, it was quite impressive. Uh, everyone had masks. Masks were distributed. People were wearing them. And now, you know, almost a week later, almost no one's wearing masks, unless they go outside Bona. So if they're on the road, you know, going someplace else, very often now they're wear people are wearing masks. Here, local people, I mean, uh, are wearing masks. But within town, within the village, you know, almost nobody. We're back to that. So it's just, you know, it's interesting to see, you know, about this. So let's see. I think that's it. Uh, Bona in Bona right now in my, in my uh, compound. Things are good. Uh, everyone seems to be getting along very, very well, better than usual. Uh, 
so that they've worked out how to relate to each other during this time. Um, it's nice to see, really, for me. And I've been more involved with the twins, uh, spending more time with them now that I have more time. And I'm feeling much more relaxed about my life uh, since there's not much externally to do, you know, and uh, enjoying, enjoying being here more, more than uh, sometimes. So that's it for uh, the latest in Bali and uh, in Bona. And of course, I'm always interested if you have any questions or anything to please just uh, drop me a note or comment uh, below this, this video and um, let me know how you are, what's happening, any questions. Okay, bye-bye.